Hello everybody, welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 live stream. We are on the absolutely splendidly done Blackpool Branches route. Uh, let's come out of photo mode, let's uh, get into the train and we'll start getting set up. Um, so it's a right side door release. Well that's up to the guard to do. Uh, right, let's see, master key, actually AWS. Where was it on this train? There, there it is there. I was looking for like those of fuses, but it's slightly more simple on here. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's do that. Put that into neutral. Um, I've already done the lights for that. That's all sorted as well. Uh, destination light, we'll get that on. Uh, we're, he we're heading to Blackpool South on this one. So we're going down the branch. Uh, once that, uh, there you go, Blackpool South. How's that looking? Uh, we're in the provincial livery as well. A nice blue livery. What was like the most popular livery on this route? Was this like the main livery? I don't know. One of the other ambassadors, Tintin, used to be um, sort of an apprentice guard on one of these, and it was well the blue one. So what was sort of the main livery which would have been worn by the Pacers in this area? Was it was it the blue one? The BR Provincial? There it is there. Cool. Uh, we're going to be calling at uh, Kirkham and Washam, uh, Mossside, Livam, Antwon, Fairhaven, St Anne's on the Sea, Squiresgate and then Blackpool South. Uh, so yeah, it's about 30, basically 40 minutes we'll say. Uh, to get down to uh, Blackpool South. Oh, I'm assuming that was a freight train we just heard there. What was that? So it was like a sound, like a psh of something going. I'm not sure, but we got the greens. So let's go. Get that off, and let's go. Yeah, it's been a little while since I've driven the Pacer. I think the last couple of times we've been on this route, we were in about the 47 and in the 101. So it's good to be back in, back, back, back in here, bouncing around and getting thrown about everywhere. Now we'll do a little, yeah, a little bit of that little brake test. And let's go. It's up to 20, 35, 35. I think it's only 25 if you're going across the points, which we are not. Look okay, already bouncing up and down. I was looking at the um, timetable just to sort of see what we haven't done on this. There's so many things we still have not done. And uh, it's literally just the route that keeps on giving. Um, like the steam rail tour, we haven't done that yet, but I wasn't, wasn't really in the mood for doing steam. Um, yeah, steam rail tour, the, the thought of the class 40. Although I have tried to do the class 40 before because of the sort of old lighting on the train, doesn't really, it doesn't look right. Um, but yeah, there's so many things we still have not done. But I thought let's go for a good old pace to run down to Blackpool South, nice early morning. Why not? It's still just impressive every time I see this route. Like, it's just... It's like, is this another game? <laughs> is this, this Trains in World 4? Or is this... Yeah, it's just... It's great. Especially when you come across from Five Circle, which I've just been playing. You come onto here and it's like it's quite a big step up. Already oh, getting bounced around. Really look forward to see what Josh trains are doing next on um, TSW. Will it be modern? Will it be backdated? Will it be a completely different area of the country? We don't know. I think it'll probably be quite a long time until we actually do find out what they are doing. Get like that filly up. Get a bit of speed on us. 
Hopefully the audio levels are up. I'm just going to turn down just a smidge. Yeah, hopefully that's sort of perfect. Cool. Put my audio down a bit as well. Let's get a little fly-by shot. There it goes. Love the church by and gleaming in the background. I can't remember what um, version of the... Actually, it should tell us on here, shouldn't it? No. Yeah, I can't remember which um, uh, engine I chose for the um, Pacer. Uh, I think it was one of the last ones, so probably the more modern one. But yeah, because I think there's about three different types of, um, sort of engine slash gearbox you can pick from. You've got like the... Yeah, it's just the, the technical stuff you can change. I can't remember which one this is though. I think it's the newer one. Look at that. Love the bounce on here. And the thing is, the, the recent trains which have come out to the game, being the 710 and the 170, haven't got the suspension. It's just like, uh, this train has it, so why can't other trains have it? It sort of feels like a feature in the game, yeah, being the suspension, which was meant to be like a train simulator for release thing. But it's still not in the game. Even on the new DLCs, it's not in, which is really just bizarre. And yeah, the, this, the pacer has the suspension and it works really well and it's fantastic. But then, yeah, the 710 and the 170, which have just come out, don't have it. I mean, if JT can do it, if this is their first train and first route in the game, then why can't the others? Why can't Dovetail and Ribbon? Right down, there we go. 75 along here. This is quite easy to get up to in this train. Not really a struggle. Now, as we come up to Sawwick. There's literally like nothing to like be negative on this route about. It's just, it's just, it's great. <laughs> it's generally probably the, it's the best looking. You probably it's up there with Nidatal Barn. I'd say Nidatal Barn and this route sort of together. It's quite hard to sort of be like, oh, this one's better than, than that one. They're sort of just top tier of uh, TSW. I mean, for the UK stuff, this is the best route. Um, quality wise I mean even if you don't if, even if you're not really a big fan of sort of backdated stuff in the game it's still worth giving this route a go because it's just so much to do so much to do it looks really good it's the pacer I mean come on it's the pacer I mean surely that is like a, a setting point <laughs> bouncing up and down getting knocked around everywhere Especially when you've got your head to weigh on 200% like we do. This is Sawwick Station, which we don't have the pleasure of stopping here on this service. So there's like two trains will stop there. Just a really quiet, dead station. I think still is realistic, but there's not really much going on there. No, really looking forward to see what uh, JT do next. I mean, they've pulled this one out and it's like, wow. So, I mean, what's next? And this was actually quite an unexpected route as well. I mean, I thought, I know, I think um, some of the JT team actually do live in Blackpool, so that's probably what influenced it a little bit. But um, I generally thought JT, well, the first thing they would do is something like the Midland Mainline, which is sort of their stomping ground on Train Sim Classic. So I suppose it's quite nice to have something which is a bit more unexpected. Once we've got something which is a bit more unexpected.
Right, speed's going to come down shortly, so I'll start whacking on the uh, on the brakes. It's 40, isn't it? So I'll start popping that down. Now as we soon approach Kirkham and Wesham. Get it bouncing around. I mean, actually, no other train on TSW is like this. This is literally the only train which is like this, where you get the sort of up, down, side to side, which just makes it really fun to drive and different to drive every time because, yeah, as soon as you get onto one of the other routes, you just don't get that sort of up and down motion. spotted the 20 there, there's the uh, class 20 which I think is on the uh, on the um, rail tour service which goes into Kirkham Tip so that's probably what what it's about to do maybe it's waiting for us yeah. here we are, Kirkham and Wesham the next stop is Kirkham and Wesham And then we then finally go down the branch line. There's no stop markers. Uh, well, I think there's a couple of stations with stop markers, but this is the 80s. It's sort of just guess when you're in the platform. So that is probably a suitable place. Only two coaches. You can't really go wrong. Yeah, that's quite a nice shot there of the uh, 20 behind. And you've got the purposely placed puddle, which just makes for some really nice shots if you can line it up correctly. On time here as well. A little bit ahead of schedule. Yeah, the chopper. So that's from um, Tees Valley, this train. Um, but it layers across onto here for the yeah for the rail tour service. But then looking at the class twenty, um, there's another similar class of train. At least I'm guessing it was probably inspired by the class twenty's design, which is the class fifty eight, which isn't in the game. For anyone who says, "Oh, I'm going to get that in the game," the class fifty eight isn't in the game. Yeah, sort of a similar sort of a, a, a mix between a class twenty and a shed. Class 58. But they're quite interesting trains. I was I was reading up about Class 58 as I saw it and I was like, what's that train? Oh yeah, Class 58. Yeah, sort of big, heavy rail freight trains, which only lasted I think 19 years or so. And there was not really any good reason to get rid of them. I don't know, have a little look see on the internet. Class 58. It's uh, quite interesting to read about them. As I said, they've basically just got about retired or just put into storage for not really any proper good reason. No perfectly good locomotives, but yeah, just went. Right, there'll be a moss side next, which is like the tiniest little station on the route. Shut. Oh, well, that's not the way to go. Oh, good grief. There we go. That's the way to go. <laughs> Let's go. As we then sort of come off the main line. And yeah, go down the branch. Little pub there, a little cafe, little cafe there. So I think this is. Oh, I can't remember, was it Kirkham? I think Kirkham was the one underneath to the south, and then Westham was the one 
up top, I think. And so the station's right in the middle. JT Transport. And you've got Cat's Biscuits, which I think is meant to be Fox Biscuits. other routes like this is the track clutter look at the amount of clutter and piping and just, yeah signal bits and pieces everywhere that's what other routes miss I don't have that right, let's try and get a screenshot as we sort of come come off the main line and down the branch <laughs> Bit of rotation on it as well. There we go. Little one four two. But yeah, predictions though. Going back to what we've mentioned a couple of times already. What do you think Just Trains are working on next? I reckon it will be maybe something modern, maybe they'll do the triple two or something, maybe it's like a loco or a train DLC but route wise I'm not sure, maybe something modern off we go what was it, Moss Side, Livam Anselm Fairhaven St Anne's on the Sea, Squires Gate and then Blackpool South and then realistically there's also Blackpool Pleasure Beach now uh, which is the mastery reward to see that getting built which I would like to do the mastery on here at some point because that's quite a cool mastery well, I never really bother with mastery but for that one it's like I I'm, I'm tempted but there's also something else about this game I'm still one trophy off getting no, two trophies off getting the platinum medal, which I've got like the other TSWs because they just transfer across the trophies. Um, but I can't seem to complete a standard or expert scenario. It just it just when I do one, it just it's like that. Nah, not giving you the trophy, which is a bit annoying. Right, speed limit does drop down. There we go. There it is, 55. Crossing up my side as well. I think the speed limit's like 35. Could be wrong in thinking that. And already back up to 70. Doesn't last for long the low limit. Let's get it fully up again. I mean, on this branch line, you can really. Uh, well, right, right. If we go around this corner at 70, you really feel it. <laughs> there we go. Let's look at the uh, motion sway on this coming around here. Look at that. All over the shop. There we go, 70 miles an hour. Well, yeah, Moss Side isn't too far, though, so we have got to be wary of that. And try and stop from our side. Which we are quite quickly approaching our side. Brakes are pretty decent on here. I mean, they're not like, really good, but they're not pants. Although we've just gone past that 35 a bit quick. A little bit speed happy. And you might have a sort of guess when you're in the platform. Which 
should be about now. I'd say. Oh, actually, yeah, we're well and truly in. Yeah, that 35 were a little bit quick going past that. <laughs> I thought it was a little bit closer to the um, to the crossing. But now it's a bit further back. See, most of the time when we're on this route, we're doing the um, the Blackpool North bit. So sort of the intercity services and stuff. So we don't venture down here as much as we should. Uh, live them next. So now we've got a 50 limit around there. Hang on. There we go. Let's go. So we're back up to 70, as you can see there. Now I think it comes down to 50. Near live them. I know we sort of go we go round a fairly sharp right hand corner and you're thinking surely the 50s on that but it's on like the one after that Than the back destination, but then there's not really much point doing the back destination. As I mean, if you're seeing the back destination, you probably missed the train. Or at least at most of these stations we're coming up to. Get the window as well if you want. another corner and you're like oh then then it's 50 yes yeah, so it's not 50 on this even though it feels like quite quick coming around here it, it's it's not 50 yet i think it's on the next corner maybe possibly not even on the next corner is it the one after this then must be the one after but we'll start slowing it down now just in readiness for it. It won't be too far up. I haven't seen it just yet. I don't know, you're 50. Must be coming out. Yeah, it's coming up here. So it's sort of on the third corner, I suppose. So when was the last time we came down here? That must have been a little while ago. It would have been pre-Christmas the last time we've come down here. See, so yeah, memory is slightly lower. <laughs> it's the 35 board going a little bit quick but past that. Here we are, this is Livam Station. Let's do the little announcement. The next station is Livam. Livam. Sounds very happy with it. Livam. Livam's the next one. There's all the sort of stations are a bit run down as well along this bit. Hardly maintained in any way. We'll sort of stop, stop up near the bridge. That's sort of where the entrance is. I mean, the, the, the objective will probably tell you where to exactly stop, but I, I don't care about points on here. Like, I know there's quite a lot of players on TSW who love points, they love medals, and love basically just getting platinum medals in every service, and like max points, but doesn't doesn't bother me. I mean, the reason I play the game is just to drive the trains and learn the routes. 
So points and stuff, not really my, not my thing. Come on, pacer, gurgle up. radio down there. Yeah, not too far to Anton Fairhaven. It's on like the massive island platform. Already wide island platform. Or at least X island platform. Yeah, if you have made it this far in the video, thanks everybody for watching. And if you are enjoying it, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It all does help out in in the long term. That should be coming up quite soon. Yeah, there it is. There. It's not speeding up again. Breaks on. There we go. Does, does the bounciness make anyone motion sick? As I know that was one of the things they were sort of uh, mentioning with the sort of suspension. It was like you know if you get, like, you might feel a bit icky, but um, I feel I feel fine with it. I mean I get funny in the car, but um, in real life, but. So one here it doesn't really affect me in any way. Ansel and Fairhaven. And St Anne's on the sea next. See that just things like that just really just make it better. No, Ansel plumbing. And it just yeah, things like that, just to sort of make it feel as if you are actually um, in sort of this area. They're not just all sort of copy and paste buildings. There's actually a bit of, you know, a bit of bit of difference, a bit of Ansel Plummet. I just yeah, things like that, just sort of make it, yeah, just make it better. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Just put put the uh, pedal up in it. Uh, it's like the D, uh, DSD pedal there. Yeah. Let's go. What a lovely early morning service. Should be about ten minutes now, and we'll be uh, at Blackpool South, all being well. Waking up everybody. <coughs> Pacer is like their alarm clock. I think this is one of the first services of the day. The alarm clock to getting up. I mean, I suppose it, it sort of could be. I mean, if you uh, have to commute into Preston from here, the train's sort of going this way, where it can wake you up, then you've got about 20 minutes to get to the station and well, catch the train when it goes back. I do like this bit though, we're sort of straggling alongside the uh, the road slash houses. See that's like a path you can walk on, that one there. So I've, I've never tried to walk on it, but it just looks like one of those places where you can get out and have a wander along. Someone try it, let me know. Can you get out and walk along that path there? It just looks like you would be able to. Which is, there's a few little things like that on this route. So I think when we went to Kirkham Tip, we could walk up one of the paths. I 
I should be coming up to St Anne's on the sea. Should be the bridge first, and then the station. Which it is. Should be where that sort of big building is there. Yeah, there it is. Start popping that down. This station is really run down. <laughs> it's just falling apart. Look at that, all the roofs sort of all deteriorated and discoloured and rusty. Well, they can't even have a proper way out sign, it's just like a bit of paper, it just says way out. It's just such a, just a, well not paper, but yeah, it's just a really just run down and Grotty station. I mean, I wonder if it looks any better now. I mean, probably this probably wouldn't fit health and safety nowadays. I've just sort of left here falling apart. And I know it's cool though. A different time. And even at the ticket office, like, you've got a few tickets there, all sort of left over. And right, let's get the uh, the door shut. Oh yeah, Squire's Gate next, I believe. Oh, AWS button. When AWS was in its infancy. So I think we go part. Yeah, we go through the golf course first, and then we're then at Squire's Gate. Let's watch it leaving. What a lovely time of day to do this service though. I think I've set this one to April as well. So it's just right. There it goes. Another signal box you can go in. I wish Dovetail had done that for um, South Tottenham and Upper Holloway I think it is, where you've got signal boxes on there. But you can't go in them, it's like I really want to go in it. But you can't. That being on the goblin line. There we are though. So yeah, we go across the uh, across the golf course I think it is, and then into Squires Gate. And yeah, back all south after that, which is quite easy to know when you're coming up to it because you see the massive roller coasters of Blackpool. Pleasure Beach, and also the Just Trains team on the roller coaster. If you spot it going around, it's yeah, just up there. Not too far along, we'll start popping the uh, brakes on. A bit of breakage. But yeah, there's another stop here. This has been now between Squires Gate and Blackpool South. Been yeah, the Pleasure Beach stop. But on this route, as it's set in 89. No, is this one 89? No, 1986, this one. Oh, well, hello. That's a controller running out of charge. Yeah, 1986, this route set. So, sort of before. The uh, Pleasure Beach stop opened. Oh, that was interesting. That was really weird. That's what happens when your controller runs out of charge. Oh, and I forgot it does that as well. Ah, yes, I forgot it does that. That's annoying. It weirdly does that. It's um, it basically puts on the emergency brakes when your controller runs out of charge. It's not just this train; it's other trains as well in the game. Um, I think it's if you're pressing the braking button whilst it runs out of charge. I suppose it then can't register that you've taken your finger off the uh, brake button, so it puts about well, full brakes on, which is really annoying when you're doing East Coast Main Line in the Azuma you're slowing down a little bit, it runs out of charge and you just come to an emergency stop. 
Basically, it's just something out of your control. Quite literally out of your control. Runs out of charge and you can't do anything. Well, let customers know there was a cow on the line. Here we are, Squire's Gate. And all the stations look different as well. Like it's what like on a lot of routes it looks very copy pasty for some some things, but all of them have that sort of uniqueness to them on this route. All the platform surfaces are all just different on every bloody platform and everything's just different. I like the simpleness as well of all the signs. There's no logo or anything like that. It's just a simple white background, a bit of black writing on it. It's just, it's very simple. Let's watch the train leaving. Well, let's get external. There's the Mersey Rail people wearing their uh, yellow and white. Jackets. Good info there, 121 seats. That's a pretty cool uh, look at it. This always looks good, this uh, train. Especially in this sort of sunlight as well. Look at that though. Oh, you can move it there, you go. that's a pretty bad shot. Again, if you don't have Blackpool branches, extremely highly recommend it. The other one would be the Nidthalbarn for German stuff. That's another sort of like must route. You got the roller coasters of Pleasure Beach. Shit, that's smart that we're coming up to the end of the journey. Coast. And veer around into Blackpool South Station, which has a really long platform. We don't want to be coming in that quick. We're a little bit quick. We'll be very speed happy on this one. Which obviously used to be quite a much bigger station, but well, not anymore. And you can sort of see the scars of the railway. Even nowadays on Google Maps, look at the uh, satellite view. You can sort of see where the railway went, and it's all sort of car parks now. That'll do. Here we are. This is Blackpool South. Um, yeah, that is going to be it for me. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. That was a run on the Blackpool branches route on the Blackpool South branch, uh, which is just lovely to uh, lovely to go on. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, merch store. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.